Prabhupada is not God. He's not God. Prabhupada is a, for us as good as God. And even though there was a situation that came up in the movement in the early days where people started to say that Prabhupada was God, maybe Yashoda Prabhu, you could recall that story for us. Yes, this was an incident at uh, 1970 in New Vrindavan for Janmastami, mm -hmm. where certain devotees started to preach that Prabhupada had left the society, he was displeased with the devotees, and that Prabhupada had withdrawn his mercy from all the devotees, and Prabhupada was the super soul, Prabhupada was God, and Prabhupada did not like that. Prabhupada's point was basically, you cannot preach like that. Prabhupada said, if you become a spiritual master someday, does that mean you become God? So this is an example of the kind of misconception and misrepresentation that can infiltrate without proper training and without proper understanding. That whole issue was cleared up eventually. But the, the, in other words, Prabhupada wrote these books for a very good reason. He wanted the devotees to be educated and knowledgeable into the science of Krishna consciousness. And even this point that uh, this this point about etiquette, about the spiritual master not accepting obeisance in front of the deities, well, we saw during the manifested presence of Prabhupada, Prabhupada took the uh, Vyasa Puja right in front of the deities in Los Angeles and many other places. But the point is, who is this person? Who is Prabhupada? Is he like a regular devotee? Mm -hmm. This this is the first point. There are certain restrictions in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. I keep giving this example. If you look at pictures of the opening of the Krishna Balaram Temple in Vrindavan, India in 1975 at Ram Navami, Prabhupada is wearing a shirt. Now Prabhupada is doing the Arctic to the deities and he is fanning the deities, fanning the deities, offering the incense, but he is wearing a sewn cloth. If you look in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, there is a restriction that people engage in the direct worship of the deity, the Pujaris, should not wear sewn cloth. And then it says if a person does that, he'll take seven births as a leper. Now, are people going to say Prabhupada's going to take seven births as a leper because he had where he wore a kurta, which is sewn cloth? But well, this is for regular devotees. This is for for neophytes who are trying to advance. A person who is a paramamsa or a topmost Mahabhagavata is beyond these rules and regulations. Although Srila Prabhupada followed these rules, followed these regulations, and gave by examples. Just like I've given this example in 1969, Prabhupada went in the kitchen in Los Angeles, and devotees were cooking some halva. Mm -hmm. Prabhupada took some halva out of the pot, and he ate some of it, and he told the devotees that Krishna likes this halva. And the devotees told Prabhupada, Prabhupada, it's not offered. But Prabhupada says, Krishna likes the halva. So we cannot imitate that. We cannot do the kind of activities that Prabhupada did. Prabhupada was a very specially empowered devotee, and although he did some of these activities, he set the examples, he gave the instruction in his books, and we should be very, very careful not to imitate. As a matter of fact, early on in 1978, when we brought up the argument that nobody can take worship in any Iskand temple in front of Prabhupada because Prabhupada's picture is there and Prabhupada's deity is there. So their argument, oh, does that mean that none of us will ever be able to take worship? Correct. 